three suspects, all because of a concerned neighbor who suspected that her home was being burglarized and called 911 in similar crimes in Hancock County. When I think about the year 1969, it was something special. It was really the birth of pop culture as we know it. And it was uh, kind of a strange time. It was freaky, a big blur. How cool was Woodstock? Everybody could let their freak flag fly. <laughs> but it was almost frightening. It was this dream. Wow. It was shocking to me. A tipping point. Protests and riots. Young people who were not going to take it anymore. You punch me, I punch back. Power to the people. We were fighting back. We were close to a civil war. Like a Phenomenal. Exciting. Terrifying. Oh my God, what happened? Outrageous. Divided. Scary. A lot of today, it's a mirror image of what was happening back then. Take the ticket. Enjoy the ride. 1969, the stunning landmark six-episode docu-series event, premiering Tuesday night, April 23rd, with Moonshot. We choose to go to the we moon. We looked out of our window and like, God, that moon. I thought that was kind of cool, yeah. Magical. Six remarkable Tuesday nights. 1969, what's going on? <laughs> Starting Tuesday night, April 23rd at 10, 9 central on ABC. Uh, yeah. Four young suspects attacking a man on the sidewalk, beating him into submission, and then robbing him of a pair of cell phones, all in a matter of about 12 seconds. Now one of them, 16-year-old Devontae Parker, has turned himself in to police. Surveillance video also captured these images of the suspects as they waited across the street for their victim in the very shadows of the federal building which houses Homeland Security. Detectives say of the three suspects who remain at large, one in particular should be easy to identify. One of the suspects in this incident was wearing a panda bear shirt. And that's important to point out because that's something unusual. You don't see a lot of people with that type of clothing item on. For his part, because of the severity of the attack and the serious injuries inflicted on the victim, Devante Parker, while only 16 years old, is now being charged as an adult with robbery and assault.